Hello and welcome back. The Mass Effect Andromeda with your stream is in the mad. It's time to read the IA Informat Information Bulletin. Of all people desperately need basic supplies, if your family can spare nutrient paste and use clothing and outdoor survival gear, machine parts, tools, extra weapons, and diminution it could make the difference between life and death for those resisting to get conquest. Please donate items in the nearest victory drive station of your residential complex. The rumors are true, our beloved Moshe Shefa has been rescued from the gate by brave members of the resistance aided by the Milky Way visitors. The Moshe is recovering and in good spirits. You may see unusual visitors on Aya in the days ahead, don't be alarmed, they are here as guests and remain vigilant and report suspicious activity to Aya security, but do not attempt to confront or restrain anyone yourself. Recent victories on world have uh, spurred renewed public interest in joining the resistance. Volunteer sign-ups uh, increased 500% over last year. Efra Del, Del Shav encourages everyone, regardless of age, stance or experience, to submit to a resi resistance recruitment screening. Archaeologists working at the dig site on Havar's unsettled southern continent were forced to abandon their camp when a freak tendril of scourge energy pierced the atmosphere above their location. No injuries were reported, but the team leader stated the group lost years of research in the event. Oh no. Cargo ship and transport vessel crews are reminded that the Qatar board remains a high risk travel zone. No official business has been sanctioned with the deserters and contact with the Milky Way immigrants living on Gadara is strongly discouraged. Hmm. Hmm. Qatar, eh? Looking for a level 7 starship engineer, experience for breeding and uh, maintaining Valstead U thrusters is required. Will work for extended trial periods lasting up to 6 weeks or more. Basic zero gravity combat training preferred, but can be learned on the job. Meal prep and then engaging conversation style a plus. Must be clean. Submit applications to Captain Samajera at Dock 3. Ooh, Muro. Team of artists from each of our homeworlds, Aya, Wold, and Havar, work together to create this mural. It depicts the centuries of hardship we endured as a result of the scourge, but also the reunion of our people to build a strong, resilient thingy. Is it. Is it painted on glass or something? Maybe. Hello, don't mind me, I'm just walking through your garden. I know it's a memorial type of garden, but... I'm sure there's no harm in me exploring a little. Nice! Is my official uh, report on uh, that particular view. We rose from nothing to touch the stars and meet homes and many worlds. Do not mourn what gets stole from us, celebrate what still remains. All things reach their end and make way for new life to fill the void. The worlds and people we lose will return in time, family grows forever. We dedicate this garden to those who are not here with us but who will return one day. One day return, this place is for them. That way around. Fast travel station. Alright, we have reached the marketplace. It's good to know that they don't have enough life pollution to block off the stars. Oh, I'm stuck on someone. Well, several people even. Hello. Ryder. I'm not selling to aliens. Okay. The Geth have felt the power of the resistance and they know their end is coming. Our victories on world are only the beginning of what we can achieve. And we, but we can't defeat the enemy without your help. If you're tired of living in fear, if you believe you were meant for something greater than slavery, if you're willing to stand up and fight, you'll find a new family in the resistance. We'll train you to strike back at the Geth 
and they're claimed by this house. The resistance defends the future of Oregon and Gara. Join us. Hello. Doing okay? Who knew saving a respected member of Angaran society would open so many doors? I've been talking to some of their traders, seeing if we can work things out. I know you like looking for the advantage, but we need to earn their trust first. Don't bargain too hard. You're the boss. When trouble comes, new clientele is always welcome here. Have a look, I'm sure you'll find something to your taste. Can't hurt to be prepared. Maybe you've got something I'm looking for. If I don't today, I will tomorrow. Maverick did eye armor. Ooh. So yeah, if I were doing anything along the lines of a sniper or not punching things to death, this this would be quite a useful equipment, I believe. Rider. Metra. Hello. Huh. I never thought I'd see the Moshai again. Least of all thanks to you. Welcome to the marketplace. I am Arbiter Renard. I enforce correct contact between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. Goods for the home, tools for the Who decides field, what happens to people who break the law? It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. Where I'm from, the biggest trade law is don't cheat. Is it different here? I suspect we define cheating differently. What is unfair changes based on perspective. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the governor's office and the resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. It would, yes. Okay. Codex. Andromeda species. Ankara. Uh, culture? Or are we looking for something? And current culture economics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I got what I wanted. Your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I can do that. Good to hear. What do you have? Do you have platinum? You have a remnant fighter model. Ooh, yes, please. Not only was it cheap as fuck, it's a remnant thingy. It's a model from a ship. Is this the same one? Yes. Just making sure. What do you have? Vesteran? I was there when you landed. Watched you get escorted through the city. Bet that was a sight. You were an unexpected outsider. Not really a laughing matter. I've never seen fruit like this before. What are these? Paripo. Sweet with a little bite. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I have a few Kiloa or Elmok. Is fruit scarce here? In this form, yes. Very expensive. If you buy a paripo from me, it means you have something to celebrate. It's a luxury, meant to be shared with friends and family. I'll get moving. Okay, thank you for information. Ooh, what are you selling? They let you pass the gates. Huh. It's an honor, and I understand that. I'll be respectful. All right. Everyone deserves a chance to prove themselves. And the armor modules. Lots of things. <gasps> you sell platinum, though. The whole fucking lot of it. It's still something. 
and it's a lot more than we had before. I don't suppose you also have like a ship I can buy? No, okay. Wouldn't have been nice. Wouldn't have been fancy. There's no sense for me to be standoffish with, with everyone, is there? I'm trying to get like... Hello. Exaltation is just another word for how the kid kill us. And if you're wrong, if we've been killing for them without realizing it, I saw a ket up close when they attacked. It was nothing like our people. The ket weaponize their victims to make you hesitate. And when the ket begin to exalt your people, what will you do then? Thank you for that. Insight, Pathfinder. The issue facing us is complex. Come, my friends, deliberate with me. I wasn't really that helpful to the conversation, was I? But uh, if they start exaltation of our own people, of humans, Turians, and the like, I guess we will have no choice but to kill them, just like we did with when the Reapers attacked. And start turning our people into little Reaper things. I can't jump down staircases. No shortcuts allowed, I guess. How large is this area? Sufficiently large. Alright, so... That's the shuttle. That's where we just came from. There's... Plenty of reasons to go that way, as well as plenty of reasons to go here. Now, I don't know if there's any reasons to go here. Is this the way to Davan? Yeah, that's the Davan. Town. How many people there are? Oh, look! Rider. I'll need to wait until your medic has cleared the poop of toxins before you even need to hear. Ah, 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 ah. Let me tell you about Red Call. Hi, Drek. Helping the Moshi opened a lot of doors around here. Most Angara still keep their distance, though. Imagine seeing a Krogan for the first time. Maybe if I smile more, show my teeth. Something tells me that won't help. <laughs> Pathfinder. Okay. Liam, I hear you want to talk. Good to be back here. Ready to hit those scans? What am I looking for? Moran called out supplies that may have useful properties for our tech. We just need to get Sam's eye on them. Take a stroll. Enjoy the market. Nafsa. What are we hearing? Okay. Ooh, museum exhibit. We're currently updating this display to bring you to the latest of historical 
finds. Thank you for your patience. First contact with the cat varied among our homeworlds. While the cat sought to confuse Havar with silence, they murdered the ambassador on board. They turned our worlds against each other and took advantage of the confusion and chaos. It's important for us all to learn from this moment in history and to present the united front in the face of adversity. Alright. This fragment is from a wall of the governor's building, public residence on Wald, which was destroyed by Get Bombardment during the initial invasion. The governor, all staff, and most of her immediate family were all killed in the blast. When Wald stands liberated, this relic will form a cornerstone of a monument to those who gave their lives defending our home. Hello. Pathfinder, did you make it to Havara? I found this Ingaran helmet. Does it mean anything to you? This is a pre-Dark Age design. Do you see the black marks? The Scourge targeted this pilot ship. Stars, it's perfectly preserved. I can almost imagine the pilot. He must have been so afraid. I've never seen one of these intact. Do you know how rare this is? I can't even begin to repay you. Why would the Scourge target that ship? It must have been a remnant vessel. Or maybe there's remnant tech in the helmet itself. Can you imagine? Our ancestors using the remnant. You know, Pathfinder, this gets me thinking. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even know that helmet existed. What if that's not all we're missing? There could be a wealth of history just out of our reach. So, I'm requesting your help again. For you? Anything. I'd be lying if I said I didn't like the sound of that. I've led digs on every Angar and homeworld, but there are places I've missed, areas only a Pathfinder could go. There could be relics sitting untouched for centuries because no one could reach them. What I ask is this. If you ever find yourself in an area like that, you keep an eye out for artifacts. That's it? That's it. Keep me in mind as you explore and bring me anything of interest. It'd help if I knew where to look. Any planet could contain something of potential value. My people traveled far. I know that doesn't answer your question, but just keep your eyes open for me. You're the expert. Can't you just come with me? I'd like to, more than anything, but I'm needed here. My predecessor trusted me to stay and carry on his work, to find answers. No matter how much I miss the adventure, I have a responsibility here. A few hidden relics coming up. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'll be here if you find anything. Good luck. This is quite a place. It feels like home to me. Sometimes I think I should move in here. But it's got a long way to go. Someday we'll fill it with relics of the past, each one telling a story. And my people will come here to learn. And to remember. You'll get there. With enough hard work, yes. Any insight you can give me on the remnant tech? We don't know much. To our understanding, it's always been here. Stars. I would love to be the one to solve that mystery. You said the helmet was touched by the Scourge. What does that mean? I forget your people weren't around for... That. When the Scourge appeared, it targeted remnant ships, broke down their technology. With the drive cores disabled... The ships crashed. But that may not be all. The Scourge leaves a mark on whatever it touches. If it touched this helmet, perhaps the pilot was the target. There may be remnant tech inside the helmet. Or in the pilot. Storms. I hadn't even thought of that. Is it normal for someone as young as you to be in charge? I'm no younger than you. And you're a Pathfinder. I kind of inherited the job. So did I. I was apprenticed to the former curator. It was my job to bring him artifacts from other worlds. When he retired, I sort of fell into his position. Do you miss relic hunting? Some days, but mostly I'm happy to spend more time with each piece. Have you always been into history? Oh yes. When I was young, I would dig up shells and pretend they were ancient armor pieces. I've always had a big imagination. With only 14 siblings, I got lonely sometimes. Fourteen? That's insane. Why? How many do you have? Just the one. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. I have none! You know, as an Aya resident, it's your duty to show the new guy around. I see. Is that a human custom? Oh yeah, a very important one. Then I'm sure Paran will be happy to give you a tour. <laughs> 
I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. Okay. Ooh, what's this? This tech dates back nearly four centuries to the time just after the scourge appeared. Faced with the technological dark age, our ancient ancestors learned to fight and hunt without the use of advanced weaponry. Until recently, we knew this was a cat tour, but didn't understand its purpose. Scholars have recently determined it's used in the excitation of our people. Though it may be difficult to look at, it's important to learn and understand excitation to protect ourselves and our loved ones. So they've been looking into this matter for a while now, haven't they? What's this? Mother, you won't believe all that's happened since Pathfinder landed on Aya. I'm sure you know about the Moshe's rescue, but I suspect you've only heard the official version. Ephra and his resistance like to claim credit for bringing her home, but I know for a fact they never could have accomplished it without, it without the Pathfinder. People fear these new aliens will turn out to be like the cat. Don't listen to them. I feel in my spirit they've come to help, and you know I'm always right about these things. I wish you could see some of the interesting relics we found on Hawaii and elsewhere. I'll bring images next time I visit. Also, I'm not seeing Gato anymore. It was nothing particular that ended things. It's just too different. Don't worry, my work still brings me all the happiness I need. Ah, I did not mean to... Uh, I mean, that is what we do in video games, isn't it? We just read everyone's personal mail. Well, we can't know for certain theories about this remnant device suggest its function may be to convert rock and sand into nutrient-rich soil. That's handy. Nothing here, and... This pottery fragment is believed to be a ceremonial decoration from the ancient temples of Havar. That looks nice. It has a door. There's a BB! Hello, BB. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah, blah, blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Achha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. As for their hardest stuff, it was weird, which I like, but had almost no punch. <laughs> Lightweights, wool. Steady now. That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer, it's just, this museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. Don't worry, PB. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm, you might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? Nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. Not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. That's awfully understanding of you, Ryder. You're a good egg. Think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. I'm not a good egg. I'm a little duck. Though we don't know much about the remnant or its creators, we've determined the remnant more were present in Helios long before our people. The remnant's purpose appears to be the same as the planetary worlds, to transform a world into a thriving beauty for paradise. Before the arrival of Pathfinder Rider in Revolution 8, to six modern attempts to interact with the remnant have been unsuccessful, but we've been able to coexist with them peacefully here on Aya. Hey, we are history. We are already in the history books. Well, which makes sense. We were first contact with another alien species. Species. Though we know little about our pre scourge ancestors, evidence points to a grand multi-planet society with sophisticated technology. Many recent discoveries indicate our ancestors even traveled most distances between systems. Though we have no way of knowing for sure, most scholars theorize our people's early success was due to the use of remnant technology. But what if they are the remnant? And because of uh, how the scourge worked, they just don't remember. 
any of that particular history. Since they were thrown into a, you know, a scientific dark age or... Whatever they called it. Don't mind me sprinting everywhere, I'm just looking around. No, oh, and here's the resistance headquarters. Hello, hello, I'm hoping you're doing well. Heard you were coming. I prepared a date pad on our laws regarding war. Learn them. Okay, thank you. To face an enemy that will not s s stop until our entire civilization ceases to exist, it's important we not abandon the principles of basic morality. The get must be defeated, but not at any cost. It won't matter if our future generations can live without fear of death or enslavement, if that freedom was achieved through genocide or other barbaric crimes. Hmm. So... Hi. Can I go here? Good to see you. Carl, what are you doing down here? Wish I could join in down there. I could use a workout. Let's go over this again, everyone. Center, ground, focus. That's how to harness your ability in combat. What we're doing right now is nothing like a battle. Before you go into the field, you need to attain focus without thinking about it. Again. Ephra's letting me record a few of these training sessions. Just a few. But the Angara have some smart tactics. Now I get how they've held out against the cat. That's cool. From what I can tell, that person over there just uh, turned her back on the enemy. So that probably wasn't good tactics. Getting lots of stairs. Reminds me of being on Thessia for a sorry commando training. We're the aliens. For some Angara, we're the only humans they'll ever see. That's huge. Whatever happens, we'll make a better show than the cat. Well done. Much better, everyone. Keep that going. Ten more, just like that. Again. I saw a few Angara crying on my way here. Wonder if they heard about exaltation. I wanted to stop and say something, but what can you say? I'm starting to wish I'd brought a chair. Spectacular, isn't it? I is the kind of world we dreamed of. We're lucky the Angara world is here. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. And what do you have for me? Pathfinder, Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. Hey, selling an alien weapons would make me nervous too. I don't do this for Ephra. I respect the Moshai. Fair enough. What sort of toys do you have here? Ooh. I can't rotate that, but that's an Angaran sword. That's cool. There aren't a lot of things that help with uh, turning the shotgun into more damaging items. 
least not not for sale here. No entering the meds center until you're clean. No. Oh. How do I decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad. It does the rest. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, Very thanks. Very reassuring. Hello. What? What is all this then? Hmm. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angaran injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short-range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. Some of us are biotic. It's similar. Kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. I'll get moving. Ishara. You okay? You alright? Okay, it's pro we probably can't do much more here, but at least we got some medical journals for... I forgot her name. So that might help. Hi Rusky, who are you? Routine Vayantor Crystal. No, six times too unstable. I was out of food in two days. I'd ammo in three. I have to fall back. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kit, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. They won't come in. Say they're close to taking down a kit outpost, but I don't know. If they could do it alone, they would have by now. Send reinforcements. Hitting the enemy in one place leaves us vulnerable elsewhere. But you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. I hope I didn't mess it up. But you know, give them supplies. If they're not willing to <laughs> retreat, give them supplies. No, so this also overlooks that. Things are as bad as we thought, the deserters don't care about anyone but themselves, recruitment efforts have found zero traction, ironically we've had better luck getting support from the new aliens. Small group pledged to support the resistance and alert us to future get activities on Gadara. It seems unlikely the enemy would have given would give up on the planet so easily, but maybe the presence of these new aliens has confused them. And regardless, I recommend we abandon recruitment efforts and instead focus on infiltration of the local population using the car agents and submit a list of candidates in my next report. Severe whiteout conditions have made casualty confirmations difficult, except these numbers to be tested in the next update, hopefully they'll be lower. Uh, get ambush to night patrol on the Lone Crown Crevasse, 3 dead, 2 wounded, 1 missing. Squad missing outside Tekix, presumed captured, 4 missing. Sniper caught in avalanche in southern slope, presumed dead, 1 missing. A shuttle suffered mechanical failure, made hard landing on Steen Ridge, 2 wounded. Argument in the barracks got out of hand, 1 wounded, most in his pride. Commander the, the shove, no one's questioning your thinking, and we all understand that the circumstances we're facing are unprecedented. However, you should know that people are talking in the barracks about these new Nexus aliens, setting aside how they look, smell and behave, 
How can we expect to trust? How can we be expected to trust these things with access to our most secure world? On behalf of my unit, we submit that this so-called Pathfinder crew shouldn't be permitted to roam the city without an escort. We're keeping close watch on them, don't worry, we're not letting them see us. But it would be easier if we could reassign a guard to each visitor whenever they're on Aya. We hope you'll consider this option. Respectfully, war. Fair enough. How are you doing, Ephra? I expect you to take good care of Jol out there. I will. I'm sure he'll return the favor. Don't worry about him. You saved the Moshai. That earned his loyalty. Still wrapping my head around what you found at the Ket facility. That... exultation. It must be hard for you, realizing what the Ket soldiers are. Doesn't change what we have to do. It's war. What do you need? You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ked aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ked ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is... They don't visit. Do the Ked have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. The Ked aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. They treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion, it's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. There's no official Angaran military, just the resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Cat mostly. The rest fell to internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized, poorly supplied, leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the resistance real. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not resistance? I a police. Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the resistance will handle it. That's up to the governor, isn't it? <laughs> How is the resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How did you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. What success have you had against the cat? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. What do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a... spirited argument. You respect her? She holds her own. Not many do. What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. I hope the initiative is making a good impression. The initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening, like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. 
City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say, at first. We're not invaders. Of course. I'll let you get back to it. Good. It certainly felt like we were invading when we just dropped the bloody outpost and was warned, was it? Without actually consulting with anyone first. That felt really like like a really aggressive action to me, but apparently no one in the game minds. So that was a bit of an odd one. Alright, so we are currently approaching. Hmm. Apparently Liam wants me to scan some goods over that the way? Was it? What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Just come grab a table with me. What? What has he been up to? Liam? Pathfinder, you're good here. We'll worry about the data another time. Liam, what's going on? I uh, figured we should end up somewhere nice and open. You were being cased. Are you getting me in trouble? What was this about? We're not in trouble exactly, but I don't blame them for being angry. I wanted to get data that would help yields at our outposts. Varan told me what to scan, but I called it off. I still owe her, but it's better than pissing off some gouging hardliner. Sorry I didn't clue you in. It's a security thing. Food is security. Was this an attempt to copy their methods? Steal secrets? We're not competing companies. It's about learning to live here. Remember my Tempest freakout? I tried proper channels, got blocked by the Angara and the Nexus. There's only so much Jar can tell us, so I did what we do back in Crisis Response. Bend the rules. Liam, I deserve better than having this sprung on me mid-market. You're right, of course, you're right. And the Angara are right too. The last people who showed up out of the blue were the Ket, the ultimate users. I don't want us getting lumped in with them, and I really, really don't want to ruin the market. Street food and shooting the shit with you? Feels normal. About time something did. We may have to stick to ourselves for a while, if that's what both sides seem to want. It isn't. Saw it all the time during crisis deployments. Us versus them turns into food versus no food. We have to figure this shit out, or both sides will hurt. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time when we will go and talk to the governor. And then probably we will once again be off, off the planet, or we will go to the board. One or both of those options. Probably one of those options. Yeah, bye!